Hey what's going on everybody, it's Nostalgia FPS, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the maps in Modern Warfare 3 and which of them is the easiest to Moab. So this is a ranking list, number 17 on my list is going to be the most hard map in Modern Warfare 3 to Moab, and number 1 is going to be the easiest map to Moab. So Modern Warfare 3 launched with 16 maps and then uh, Terminal was free for everyone to download. So currently uh, without DLC, without you know any other playlist, there's 17 playable maps and so I'm gonna be talking about all of them in length um, but one important thing is this Moab ranking list this has solo players in mind uh, this is not about how easy it is to spawn trap or have a six man and Moab a map um, it's mainly gonna be talking about how players that are you know average or you know not insane pub stompers dropping double Moabs uh, or fast Moabs uh, would Moab these maps. It's going to be a how, about how easy it is for the average player to get a Moab on these maps. Um, for some of these maps, I'm going to talk about uh, spawns and spawn logic. Um, if you have a party of two or three, sometimes with some of these maps, you can manipulate the spawns, um, but that's not like a six-man uh, demolition lobby that's just shooting people as they spawn in. Um, but with those uh, out of the way, I'm going to be ranking the maps based on five important things. Number one is spawn predictability. How easily can you tell where people are going to be coming from? Um, number two is the map popularity. If, the, if people don't like the map, then number one, it's not going to be picked. But number two, people aren't going to stay in the game very long. Uh, number three is visibility. Some of these maps, you cannot see a thing. Um, unless you have like marksmen and you know people run assassin and all that stuff and then number four um, Or maybe I got my numbers wrong. Uh, no nope, number four. I can read uh, is size uh, Some of these maps are way too large to be dropping uh, Moabs consistently or finding people uh, you just got to play too slow on some of these maps and then number five is the power positions or the quality of head glitches uh, that are in each map so those are our five criteria points now let's just hop into the discussion all right starting us off with number 17 we have the worst map for dropping a moab on modern warfare 3 and that is downturn so if you are playing downturn solo i mean good luck to you I know good players can uh, can uh, Moab on it, but the spawns, they're crazy, they're so fixed. Um, the visibility is absolute trash. You cannot see anything. You literally have to have Marksman as like your second perk on your specialist streak uh, just to make sure that you can see people. The size is like huge. People can go under the map, um, like in the, in the tunnels, and like there's people camping inside. It's just... It's so unpredictable and so crazy, and nobody, I mean, I enjoy it personally, I, I think that it's fun to play, but the majority of the community hates this map, and people just won't stay in it, so that's number 17. Alright, for our next spot, number 16, we have Carbon. Now, Carbon is a very dear map to me, I love playing it, I think it's hectic, I think it's fun, but it's not the best for getting consistent Moabs. Um, it's very hazy, it's got this golden feel to it. If you run ballistic vests, I mean, good luck seeing people. The size is fine, um, because most of the people are like in the middle portion of the map, but the spawns flip so easily, it's so unpredictable. Uh, the power positions, I mean, you can get flanked so easily, and truth be told, a lot of people don't like this map, even though I do. So, yeah, that's number 16. Number 15 is the beautiful snow map outpost. I love the look of this map, but when you're going for Moabs, it's so difficult. The map is ginormous. You can't see a thing. Um, yeah, there's a pretty common theme with all these bottom tier maps is that the visibility is just junk. Um, I, I really think that it's fun to play on, especially if you, if you have a team, but if you're playing this map solo, you're in for a tough time moving right along to number 14 we have fallen now fallen i used to hate i could not stand fallen but it's growing on me um i think it's a lot of fun to run along the b side kind of like uh, in that little alleyway uh going in between a side spawn and c side spawn um i think it's kind of fun to play on but still the visibility is very bad i mean all of these bottom tier maps like i said you just can't see stuff um it's not too huge of a map it actually 
can feel uh, kind of normal. And there's some good head glitches, like a pile of junk in the back. But um, overall, I think it's fine. Ma it's a fine map, but it's definitely bottom tier for getting Moabs. Next up for the number 13 spot, we have Bakara. Now, Bakara is a really big map. I would say it's up there in size with Outpost. And with a lot of size in maps, uh, there's a lot of chances to get sniped. I feel like Bakara in particular is just a map that everyone, everybody wants to pull their sniper out on. Uh, which can be good if the snipers are bad, but in a lot of cases you can get sniped off your Moab. It's hard to find people. Um, the visibility is not too bad. Um, and the spawn prediction is not too bad if you have a full team, but solo, uh, it can be pretty difficult to control. Overall, I like Bikara, but it's number 13. Next up for the number 12 spot, we have Village. Now, Village is a really fun map for Assault Streaks, but for Specialist Streaks and trying to get Moabs, it's too inconsistent. The spawns are really set, um, but they can be flipped really easy. Um, it's a really big map, and... Yeah, it's it just falls under the category for me of inconsistent. Sometimes I do really well on it, other times the spawns are flipping on me and I'm getting shot in the back. I like Village a lot, but it's number 12. At our number 11 spot, we have Arcaden. Now, Arcaden's going to be probably the first controversial map that I've talked about. Um, a lot of people, they like Arcaden a lot. It has good popularity, which is one of our criteria. But the size of it is a little too small and a little too compact. People can get really fast moabs some of my fastest moabs are on arcade but to get moabs consistently is very difficult i die on a lot of big streaks on this map just because people are coming from every different direction um there are some good some good head glitches that i enjoy using um but overall i think that this map is just kind of up in the air as to whether you'll get a fast moab or a moab fail at our number 10 spot we have underground now, Underground doesn't do a lot wrong, but it also doesn't do a lot right. Um, with Underground, it's really fun to play in Domination, because with just two or three people, you can get a spawn trap to A. Um, but the colors, they're just really dull. Um, it's hard to see enemy players. The map is not too big, um, and there's some pretty nice power positions, which is why it's higher up on this list. But it's also not the best, so that's number 10. At the number 9 spot, it's Sea town Now, I might get some heat for this, but hear me out. Sea town plays really fast, and with a Moab, you need to be able to slow down the game to your pace. Um, and that sometimes can't happen on this map. Also, with how fast everything's going, your odds of getting hit by a C4, an RPG, or a shotgunner is really high. I love Sea town and I think it's a lot of fun. There's definitely some good power positions on this map, but it's it can be difficult to hold it down and uh, to, to get a Moab on this map. So that's why it's number nine. At our number eight spot, we have a very wide open map, and that is Interchange. Now, a lot of people might say Interchange should be way lower on this list. It's gray, it's hard, it's so big, it's not even that popular. But I would say that it has a lot of good head glitches, a lot of good power positions, and with only two or three people, you can hold down a spawn trap where they're trapped at, in that corner at A. I think Interchange is actually a really fun map, and for me at least, it's really easy to drop Moabs, so it's at number 8. At the number 7 spot for our list, we have Dome. So Dome is a personal favorite. I think a lot of people really enjoy Dome, but it has two really big problems for getting Moabs consistently. Number 1 is spawn predictability. So in Free For All, you have, we have people spawning all around you. It's really crazy. Um, and then the size of it, which kind of goes along with spawn predictability. Um, you're very likely to get hit by C4, Recon, RPGs, Stealth Bombers. It's just, there's so many factors that are working against you on a small map like Dome that it makes it harder to Moab. Despite that though, Dome has a lot of stuff working for it. Um, you've got some really strong power positions. If you're willing to camp, there's a lot of head glitches. Um, the visibility is great. I love the colors on this map. Sometimes the fast-paced nature of a map can be really helpful because uh, when you're going through kills really fast, you don't have time to think about, oh no, what if I blow this? Or, oh wait, am I on a 16 streak or an 18 streak? You're just going for it, and that can be really beneficial. Coming in at our number 6 spot, we have Lockdown. So, Lockdown is probably a little bit high on this list. I put it here because of personal preference. How I play, I feel is really suited well for Lockdown, but in general, I might move it one or two spots downwards. But let me explain why Lockdown's a good map. 
So with only one or two people, you can capture C and A and domination and lock in the spots at A. And that is a very, very solid um, spawn trap. If you have them in A, there's so many power positions that you can look down and just shoot at people as they spawn. It's really that simple. Um, for the way I play, I run sit rep on a lot of my classes. I know that's kind of controversial, but um, if you are at A, if you do hover around, you can really pick up on footsteps and do well. The only problem I would say uh, is kind of like a problem C-Town has, and also dumb that we just mentioned, um, you can definitely get hit by a shotgun or C4 because it can play really close quarters. But the thing about Lockdown is there's a lot of different ways that you can play it. There's a lot of different rush routes, there's a lot of different avenues, and for that reason, it's one of my favorite maps and it's a great map for getting mobs. Coming in at number 5, we have Mission. So Mission is definitely a close quarters map, uh, especially if you like to hover around the B flag. But there's also the outside routes that I think are really great uh, for going for Moabs. Um, for Mission, there's a lot of really good power positions, specifically on those outside points. Uh, with one or two people, you can capture C and B and hold them down at A, and that spawn is very strict. Um, the size of the map, even though it's pretty close quarters, I really enjoy it. Um, and it's a very popular map. I, th I think a lot of people really like Mission, so it's number five. Coming in at our number four spot, we have Resistance. So Resistance is a really great map. Um, it's been remade in World War II, and it's been remade in uh, Infinite Warfare, but there's a lot of ways to play it. Um, if you want to be really close quarters shotgun SMG, you can stay inside, um, but there's a lot of good uh, power positions uh, along the outsides of it. There's also a really simple spawn trap that you can set up with you know, one or two other people, uh, where you capture A and B, and they they spawn at C and you can go pretty deep into the C spawn uh, without it flipping so um, for those reasons I think that resistance is one of the easier maps to Moab. Coming in at our number three spot we have bootleg so immediately we got to talk about the visibility it's rainy it's dark it's kind of brownish um, the visibility is not perfect but what it may what it lacks in visibility it makes up for it in its playstyle. So there's a lot of power positions, there's a lot of nasty head glitches, um, but really if you are a slower player, if you're a little bit campy, maybe you're not the best, maybe you don't even have the best gun skill, you can hold down an area very well on bootleg. Um, the spawns are relatively predictable. Um, if you keep them at A, that's good. If you keep them at C, that's good. Um, bootleg is just a great map. and. I kind of like the rain. Um, it gives it a different feel, and I think it's a lot of fun to play. So, bootleg is our number three spot. Coming in at our number two spot, we have Hard Hat, my personal favorite map. It's vibrant. It's red. It's a cool construction site. I love it. Um, there's a lot of really good power positions that you can hold down. You can hold down the site uh, at sandbags. You can hold down the other side. Um, there's just a lot of great places to run. There's good rush routes. You can play uh, more close quarters in the middle if you like. You can um, hold down the tunnel. There's a lot of cool spots to play. Um, it's very the visibility is great. It's vibrant, um, and everybody likes Hard Hat. I I don't know too many people who don't like it. So Hard Hat is number two. And coming in at a number one spot, it's a map that didn't even originate from Modern Warfare Three. It's Modern Warfare 2's Terminal. Terminal does so many things right. There's so many power positions. The spawns, if you keep them at A, are really predictable. If you keep them at B, they're really predictable. C spawn, uh, well, people don't go for that too much. But the size is perfect for going for it. There's so many good lines of sight. Everybody loves it. Um, it doesn't play the best in Team Deathmatch because it's just really campy. I don't know what about Terminal makes people want to bring out their LMGs in Team Deathmatch, but for Domination, I really think it is the easiest map to Moab, and it's honestly one of the most fun maps uh, in the right places. So, that is the list. Uh, this is one of the longest videos I've had, so if you did enjoy, please be, be sure to leave me a like or let me know in the comment section below. Let me know where I went wrong. Um, if you disagree with any of the spots I made on this list, let me know about it, but um, other than that, if you're new around here, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, subscribed. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. See you guys.